Come on, give it up for our babies one more time. Lord, I lift you now. Come on, can we lift that up one more time? What, just one more time. Lord, I lift you. Lord, I love. Hey, say that I'm so glad. So glad that you came. One more time, say, Lord, I live. Hey, say, Lord, I love. And I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad that you came. Come on, sing it out like you believe it. You came to show the way. My dad, come on, want my choir, everybody, please stand. Want my choir to please stand. Come on, come on. One more time, say, Lord, I live. Lord, I love, yeah. Say, I'm so glad. And I'm so glad you came. Come on, Lord.
Stay right there, John. Stay right there. The book of John, the 20th chapter. It's all right to be a choir sometimes and mess up. Somebody want to lift him up this morning. Sound like somebody want to bless that name that's above all names. Hallelujah. John, John, the 20th chapter. Break in at the. Jesus. Trying to move on. Y'all want to do it one more time? One more time? You sure? Oh, Lord, we praise we you. Praise oh, Lord. You. My God. Go to the... Say you started it. You got a praise you can't hold. It's your fault. It's all your fault. You started it. You want to show somebody he's been a good guy. Look at your neighbor and say you started it. You want to show somebody he's been blessing you. It's all your fault. It's all your fault that you want to show somebody he made a way out of nowhere. It's all your fault. Hallelujah. Yeah! Hallelujah! Yee. 
Bible says, let everything that has breath do what? Let everything that has breath do what? And if you're breathing, you ought to lift up your hands and show some signs. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sound like y'all want to cut a dance up in here. It's all right to show some signs that he's been a good guy. Yeah. It's all right to pick your feet up and put them down. It's all right to put your hands together. Huh? Go ahead and give him a dance. If you got a quick one, go ahead and give him a dance. That's all right. Just move a little. If you ain't got rhythm, just move a little. Wiggle something. Come on, we don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. Show some time. John the 20th chapter 16th verse Jesus saith Jesus saith unto her Mary and she turned herself and saith unto him Rabbani which is to say master Jesus, say, Jesus saith unto her touch me not for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brother and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. I want to preach from a subject this morning, finding purpose in a grave. You may be seated. Now, Hebrew, y'all, is in rare form this morning, and I understand. I know the Cavs didn't make it, but we made it. We made it. We made it. They ain't guilty. 
the championship, but we know the champion. Yeah! We made it! Hey! We made it! We made it! Yeah! We made it! Hey! We made it! We made it! We made it! Y'all just gonna keep singing. We made it! We made it! Stop, I got to preach. Casey, 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 you got a praise in them fingers, huh? You just can't stop. I'm trying to move on, but I'm really am. Uh, you know, first lady, the devil really tried some stuff, didn't he? Yeah. He tried to attack our family, try to attack our baby boy. Yeah. There's one thing I want to tell the devil. It didn't work. 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 It's by the grace of God. 
We don't do this every Sunday, but when it happens, it's real. Every now and then, you got to give them an undignified praise. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. My God from Zion. Okay, y'all. I'm going to try my best to get into this word because I know we probably scared some people this morning. That's all right, Eddie. That's all right. That's all right, Eddie. That's all right. Praise on it. I'm going to put a 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 praise on it. That's what? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put, put a praise on, on it. it. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we bless your name today, God. Father, we give you all the praise and glory to your name, God. No matter where we at, you deserve the praise, no matter what we're going through. Oh, but on the day of resurrection, God, we're reminded. And we serve a living and true God. Hallelujah. That said, I will be with you always. Even until the end. We thank you. And we give you the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bless that wonderful name. Hallelujah. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. We give you the praise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. see all to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give and I will let Sister Marcy, in his presence daily live. I surrender all Whoa, I surrender Oh, 
to thee my say everything the Holy Spirit has already preached oh he pressed the, yeah we got a projector up he didn't know it. he pressed the button <laughs> we, one step at a time we getting there I can't I can't say everything in this sermon now the Holy Spirit I can't, I can't say it. It's, it. it's no point. But I want you to get this as we get ready to leave today. I want you to take this with you. That Christ's resurrection gives your existence meaning. I'm not about to go through the whole text. His resurrection gives your life purpose. Amen. And so what I want, what the Holy Spirit wanted y'all to know today is there has to be something after the celebration. We done shouted. It didn't work. Now go live it. We done shouted. He got up. Now go live it and listen. Listen, it don't matter how messed up you are. It don't matter how many mistakes you made. His resurrection gives your life purpose. I don't care how high you got. I don't care how many people you slept with. I don't care how many dr drinks you didn't have, you shouldn't have had. I don't care what you did that was a criminal activity. He died on the cross for your sins and his life gives your life purpose I want y'all to see something real quick I promise I'm not going to hold y'all long we can get out of here but I, I am indebted to Auntie Mary and I'm talking about Mary Magdalene that's my auntie you want to know why? Because when Jesus met her, she was possessed with seven demons. Seven demons. And when Jesus met her, he cast those demons out of her. Now, what y'all may not, what y'all may know or think you know about Mary Magdalene is that she was a prostitute. But the scripture doesn't say that. It says she was possessed with seven demons. And from that moment on, we always think of disciples as men. I want to talk to the women in here that have a calling on their life. I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to get out your way. I ain't going to be here long. But I got to do what the Holy Spirit told me to do. When you look in the text, she is more faithful than the men. She had money and she, she supported Jesus' ministry. At the cross, she was there. And the sepulchre, not even at the cross, but when Joseph of Arimathea, when he came to get the body, she watched him. She wanted to know where they was going to lay her master. She watched him lay him in the tomb. She had to leave Friday because the Sabbath is Saturday. They weren't allowed to work. She wanted to get spices to continue to embalm his body. 
And who's the first one at the tomb Sunday morning? Mary Magdalene. She's the first one. She wanted her master, listen to y'all, she wanted him dead or alive. She didn't care. She didn't understand that he resurrected. She was devoted even if he didn't get up. I'm almost done. She goes to the tomb. She's frustrated that he's not there. She runs and goes get Peter and John. They run to the tomb. They look in. They have their thoughts and they go home. But who stays? Mary Magdalene. And guess what happened when she looks in the tomb? It's two angels. When John and Peter looked in the tomb, there weren't any angels. It's in the text. But when she looks in the tomb, because an angel is sent as a messenger from God, Mary Magdalene, the woman who was once possessed with seven demons, had a special message from God. I'm sorry if I'm ruffling somebody's feathers today, but you can't tell me that God don't have a place for women in ministry. You cannot tell me that he doesn't have a calling on your life. And so every woman that knows that they have a calling on your life, I need you to stand on your feet this morning. Every woman that knows that she has a calling on her life. Stand on your feet this morning. And I don't want you to allow the culture to swallow your anointing. I don't want you to allow men to diminish what's on your life. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, affirm your daughters. Affirm them in their calling, in their purpose. That they're more than just cooks and mothers. But they have an anointing for your kingdom, oh God. That in the resurrection they can see their purpose. Fill them afresh today with your spirit. And use them in the church and outside of the church. Commission them as you gave Mary Magdalene a commission. I know you have commissioned these that are here today for you create nothing without purpose. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. And my sister say amen. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise in here today. It has been on me so heavy because of some things I'm dealing with. But I don't ever want y'all to think because of your gender, you're not supposed to stand here or out there. She was with him in every aspect of his ministry. And was one of the most faithful. Now, brothers, that go for you too. If you're here today and you believe he resurrected, take that resurrection home. And let it inspire you to disciple your family. Take that resurrection home. And let it be that which guides and directs your family. Take that resurrection home. He got to do more than just shout about it. He has to be alive in us, brothers. Come on, somebody. We can't serve a living God with a dead faith. I'm going to say it one more time. We can't serve a living God with a dead faith. That means that his existence must touch our existence. It must change us. It must affect us. It must cause us to think differently, to view things differently, to change our values and our morals. Amen. So every brother in this house, stand on your feet. Every brother in this house, stand on your feet. And the first thing that I'm going to pray is that there will be a re resurrection of your relationship between you and Christ if it isn't. Why is that, Pastor Early? Because before Adam had Eve, he had God. I'm going to say it again. 
Before Adam had Eve, he had God. Your relationship with God is most important. And so, Father, right now, I pray for these brothers to open up their hearts to you today. Even for those who know you, that they will know you deeper still. Oh, God, that they will know that you behold and you stand at the door and knock. And if anyone will open that door, you will come in and sup with us. God, even if we are out of order, even if we are out of line, thank you for grace, oh God, that allows us to fall, but yet you still love us. And so, God, may your love overflow. May your love saturate. May they look at the cross and see their worth. May they look at the cross and see their value. May they look at the cross and see their identity. That it's not in their paycheck. It's not in their vehicle. It's not in their houses. But it's in the price that was paid for their sins on the cross. God, let there be a love that moves from feeling to verbs. Let there be a love in these men that move from feeling to action. That they will become lovers of your word. That they will become lovers of prayer. That they will become lovers of meditation. That they will become lovers of worship. God, raise up strong men who will cry in your presence. Raise up strong men who will humble themselves and submit. Raise up warriors who yet still know how to love. Love their wives. Love their children. That the resurrection be alive in us today. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. And my brothers and sisters say amen. Come on, ladies, give, give God. Hmm. 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 There she's sitting in the, you know, she was, she was, Auntie Mary was bad. It's dark. Is she in the cemetery? And she ain't even moved by the angels. She ain't even scared. She in the, at nighttime in the cemetery looking for her master like, listen, I don't care about nothing else. Show me where you laid my master. And here she leaves the tomb as the first preacher of the gospel. Why? Not because she was a woman, but because her devotion was different. <laughs> she leaves the tomb and she goes and tells them that I have seen the risen Lord first one have you seen him when I look back over my life I can see him they be talking about the footprints I see his footprints as I see where he carried me where he covered me where he provided for me where he protected me every area of my life I've seen a risen savior on TV I've seen him and you can't keep that to yourself. Something that all of us got to do today. We got to leave out here and tell somebody, I know him. Amen. Yeah, we, once we get done shouting, now we got to go live it. You linger at that tomb long enough, that ought to make you think different about the rest of the Bible. Am I right? Like, Royce, when I got a hold of the resurrection and I dealt with my skepticism, I had to go back to Genesis and say, okay, well, I guess he did create everything. <laughs> I guess Daniel was in the lion's den and he, oh, I guess he was with them in the fire and the three Hebrew boys. It changed everything. And so my prayer is that you will go out and the resurrection will be alive in you today and that someone can see and you have seen the risen Lord and that he is alive. Ladies, be bold in your calling. Men, be real in your calling. And let the resurrection be alive in you. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. I'm done.
as we stand all over this place, Jesus. There may be someone here who doesn't know this, this Jesus that Mary was searching for in the cemetery. But if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, the Bible says that you shall be saved. Why? Because the tomb is still empty and the blood still works. So I know we shouted and we rejoiced, but there may be somebody here who doesn't know him. Or there may be somebody here that says, Pastor, I know you prayed for us, but I need to make a public declaration and rededicate. I need to fall to my knees and surrender and allow the resurrection to be alive in me. You can find purpose at a tomb. If there's one here today, or maybe you're looking for a church home, this is a good day to say, hey, here, here we are. We want to be a part of this ministry. The Lord is leading us here. If there's one here today, Jesus is waiting for you. Hallelujah. He has orchestrated this service the way he wanted it to go. Amen. He has had his way. And for some of us, we've gotten what we needed. But if there's another here today, he's waiting for you. Come on. If there's another. Come on. Come on. If there's another one here today, sent down from glory. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. You are the Lamb. awesome ruler, awesome ruler, gentile redeemer, gentile redeemer, God with us. God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you. You are the living word. And there's another. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise today. Oh, uh oh, we got some. Come on. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We thank God for this beautiful family. I know they're coming to join today. Hallelujah. Such a beautiful family. We're so honored to have you all today. They've been courting us and hanging out with us, getting, getting here sometimes before we do. <laughs> and so if you don't mind, just... If you can, lift your hands toward them today. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this beautiful family, Lord. We thank you that they are alive to you. They desire your will for their lives, for their family. And Lord, I know because you got up, you got purpose for each and every one of them. And may that purpose even be more clear today as they listen to your small, still voice and found confirmation that this is the garden where you are planting them to blossom, to serve, and to labor for your kingdom. Lord, we are honored that you would send them here. Guide and direct us to pour into them and to disciple them and empower them to pour into us, oh God, that iron will sharpen iron. Bless, bless this mother, this father, their beautiful children, their grandbaby. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And my brothers and sisters say amen. 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 Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. That was, that was their son that was portraying Jesus on the cross and our kids play with little Josh. He did an awesome job, amen. Let's give it up for all our kids again. Woo! Hallelujah. And Sister Trinita, where she at? Wave your hand, Sister Trinita. Listen, 
you had some of these grown folks in here crying. They was weeping. It don't take much because the truth is the truth. Amen. And sometimes to see it played out like that, it, it touches your heart. At this time, it is offering time. We're going to get ready to sow into the kingdom of God. You can do so via Cash App. That's dollar sign MT Hebron 216. For those of you who are on the live feed, you can click on the push pay link. Uh, being that we are a little more, uh, what ushers do we have today? We actually need to do ushers today. Yeah, I don't want to. Come on, Steph. Who, who we got? Oh, okay, Brother Kirk. Amen. So, Steph, if you can start on this side from the rear. Brother Kurt, you can start on this side from the rear. And if you have an offering, we ask if possible if everyone can walk, if you can, so you're not stepping on anybody. Yeah, you're going to come from the outside. Steph, go on the outside. Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. We usually don't have as many people, so we, you know, no shade. And they don't be this packed. We just be like, come on up. We don't want to do that today from that side. Yeah, starting by the... Last row, if you could please stand, let our body ushers in the rear. Thank you so much. Center section, we're going to get you in a minute. Come on, Jess. Come on, purple lady. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Give us something. Hey, y'all, we got some famous people in the house today. We got Jason Garrett, who designed the award, the Kareem, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Award. And so I'm so glad he just got off the jet. He just came from California, and he's still a Hebrew knight. I'm so, man, I'm so excited. So proud of you, man. It's good to see entrepreneurs winning. Do I got any entrepreneurs in the house today? Okay. It's good to see entrepreneurs winning. You can do it. Just keep going. Don't give up. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, uh, after church, while you're still giving, if you want to step over into my photography studio, I'm taking pictures. You don't have to give nothing if you don't want to. If you want to snap a picture with your family afterwards, please see me over there just to let y'all know I am doing it. Dr. Yvonne, I got you. I got you, Dr. Yvonne. We good? Kurt, you got us in the center? Center section led by the usher in the rear. What's up, Mike Stanford in the building? Cash app, dollar sign, MT Hebron. That's MT H E B R O N 216. Thank you. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, he's I will bless the he's Lord. Worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, he's worthy. 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 Bless the Lord, oh my soul. 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 And everything within me. Everything within me. Bless His holy name. Bless His holy name. He's one. Thank you for all those 
Hey, come on. Let's thank God that our church was still maintaining through a pandemic. Thank you for all those who continue to give and continue to sow. Because we still got more building to renovate. Amen. We got phase two over there, our multi-purpose complex. So we, we, we still got vision that needs to be completed for the house. Amen. Let's thank you, Kirk. Kirk. Put a couple hundreds in there. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I know you got it. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for every seed that is sown, God. Thank you for the cheerful giver. And you said if we give cheerfully and bountifully, we shall reap bountifully. And so, Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. And even when we don't give as we should, we, you're still faithful. And for that, God, we say thank you. Multiply, increase the seed that has been planted in your house that there may be meat in your house to do the work in your vineyard. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. And my brothers and sisters say amen. 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 So before, uh, before we leave real quick, they got some Easter bags back there for the little. They want the little kids to go first. Um, I'm guessing two, three, four, five years old. Let them go first. Go ahead, man. Go get your bag. You good. You let them go first. Were you blessed this morning? Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Listen, y'all. We was in rare form today. I know we got some visitors that are like, we ain't coming back here. He ain't even preach. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm at home. No, seriously, we're thankful for all the visitors. Please come back again. We're striving to do kingdom work. But one thing I do believe in is being led by the Holy Spirit. I can't over-preach him, amen? I can't over-preach the Holy Spirit. I think he has already spoken. See, sometimes we think preaching is only an auditory sermon. But sometimes he preaches through his presence. Which y'all didn't realize that was going on. We were singing prophetically. And that's a form of praise. That it wasn't something that was made before. It was made during. So we're echoing heaven. <laughs> and so he, he spoke to our situations. Though they're all different, one God spoke to our situations, spoke to our doubt, spoke to our weariness. Does anybody feel revived in here besides me? Amen. Amen. And so we thank God for his presence. As always, I, I like to ask somebody to come and close out in prayer. I know it's Super Bowl Sunday, but I still want somebody to close out in prayer. So I'm going to ask Sister Shamika. Where's Shamika Brantley at? Oh, tell her. Oh, that don't mean nothing. Tell her, come on in here. Don't mean absolutely nothing. We have, we have not had nobody turn down their they chance to pray. Amen. If Deja can do it, anybody can do it. I love you, Deja. Come on, Meek Meek. Look, look, Meek, look what I got. If y'all know Shamika, she is a germaphobic. Come, come on up, woman of God. Let's all stand on our feet. I don't know if y'all know, but this is this man's beautiful wife that was preaching before she... Praise the Lord, everybody. He's so worthy on his resurrection Sunday. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your word, Lord God. We thank you, God, for being who you are, Lord God. We thank you. God, that the tool was empty, Lord God. We thank you, God, that they could not find you, Lord God. And you did what you said that you would do, Lord God. Now I pray, Lord God, that people will find an empty tomb when they see us, God. And when they see us, God, they will see your resurrection power in us, oh God. We pray right now, Lord God, that you will begin to dead at all the things that is not like you, Lord God, in us, Lord God. God, that we will live a life on purpose, God. On purpose, Lord, so that we can do your purpose, that you will be glorified in us, oh God. God, when we leave this place, Lord God, I pray that we won't leave your presence, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that you will lead us through this week, God. God, that we will share your resurrection power with someone, Lord God, today. 
We thank you, God. We love you, and we count it as done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Excuse me, excuse me, everybody. Mother, Mother Hawkins, Mother Hawkins is looking for the young woman who, who loaned her $15 a couple Sundays ago. She want to pay that person back. And she couldn't remember who it was. So if that was you, please come and see Mother Hawkins right here in the front dressed in all white, beautiful as can be. <laughs> 